Welcome to Baseball Prospectus's Introduction to DRA Minus. I'm Brian Grosnick, and I'm going to walk you through BP's comprehensive pitching metric. So, what is DRA Minus? DRA Minus stands for Deserved Runs Allowed Minus, and it measures a pitcher's expected contribution towards run prevention. Basically, what did the pitcher do to prevent runs from scoring? It tells us how much better than league average a pitcher was over a period of time. First, we calculate Deserved Runs Allowed, or DRA. We used a mixed model statistical approach to find a pitcher's expected contribution on a scale that looks like runs allowed per nine innings. It's a lot like earned run average. Once we have that DRA number, we place it on an index so that we know how much better or worse than league average that a pitcher is. This makes it easy for us to compare pitchers across teams, leagues, and seasons. If a pitcher has a DRA minus score of 100 for a season, that means they were expected to limit runs at a league average rate. If a pitcher has a DRA minus score of 80 for a season, that means they were expected to limit runs at a 20% better rate than the league average. And if a pitcher has a DRA minus score of 120 for a season, well that means that they were expected to limit runs at a 20% worse rate than the league average. The lower a DRA minus score, the better it is for a pitcher, just like with ERA. DRA examines all important aspects of a pitcher's output and assigns the appropriate credit for every event. Then, our model corrects for important contextual factors, like park effect, and the quality of opposing hitter, among other things. All of this takes place while the model tries to eliminate the effect of defense on the pitching events. Not only is DRA minus great at examining all factors involved in a pitcher's performance and assigning the right values in context, but it has also been tested as more reliable, descriptive, and predictive than other public statistics that try to measure overall pitching performance. More than earned run average, fielding independent pitching, or any other rate statistic, DRA- minus does the best job of telling you how effective a pitcher is now, as well as how effective a pitcher is likely to be tomorrow. So how can you find DRA- minus on BaseballProspectus.com? First, it's in a prime spot on all of our player cards. Just search for any player on the site, click on their player card, and you can see their DRA- minus for all seasons near the top of the page along with all the other statistics you're used to seeing. This also forms the basis for a warp metric for pitchers, which provides a comprehensive look at a player's overall value. You can also check out our leaderboards to find DRA minus values for any player in most seasons. Just go to the navigation bar from this page or our homepage, hover over Stats Tools, then click Sortable Stats. From there, you can click on any of our reports. For seasonal DRA minus for all pitchers, use the Season Totals link. You'll be able to see the numbers for all player seasons in 2018, and then you can customize it just like any of our sortable reports. All of our recent DRA minus content can be found on our brand new showcase page, which includes explanations, articles, and mini leaderboards with a host of useful information on this new statistic. I hope you enjoy using DRA minus to learn more about your favorite pitchers as you visit Baseball Prospectus.